Yeah. You see? It's some old old engine there, you know. Look at the state of this engine, man. All rusty. Okay. Let's take it. Let's take it away. When I put it in the garage, we'll see. Maybe it's gonna start. Sure. Have you busted? Okay, guys. I have to source some uh, parts for this on the internet. Because this engine having got this is uh, we need a H3 uh, we need a distributor cap uh, which is uh, this engine having got uh, we need a distributor rotor also missing in this engine uh, a HD coil. that the simple one and uh, I bought the spark plugs as well because the old spark plug maybe they 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 gone or something because they're very old we see what's happened yeah? first of all what are we gonna do I'm gonna check if, if there is the mark lined up with the casing is a small mark over there and over there which is mean the the cylinders they up and we got over here the first cylinder is uh, on the fire, which is that thing facing to the to the electric bolt. I'm gonna make sure it's the in right position. Okay. Take this little bit, this adjuster, and just turn it a bit. Just turn on the turn uh, forward and the backwards until the points start open start open now ok, you can see, start open now then I can tie this like that make sure it doesn't, it doesn't move yeah? ok, now we're gonna attach the HD coil somewhere to make sure it's gonna be connection to the ground I don't think it's necessary but the body says need to be connected to, uh, connect to the ground the casing of this of it let's start it up ok that's fine and now we're gonna put some wires now we need uh, four cables to connect this uh, this uh, engine First of all, we're gonna put the plus to the coil. Okay. Of and, and with the plus, we're gonna connect the wire, which is going to to solenoid uh, solenoid uh, jet which is uh, in, inside the inside the carp is over there this one you see this this one yeah we have to connect it this thing uh, switch off the the gas flow you know, petrol when you turn on the ignition you turn it's turn on that uh, solenoid close the uh, petrol uh, supply and this must be connected with the plus as well over here it's gonna be connected there okay now the second third wire sorry is the minus is the ground for the HD coil and that ground is going to the, the connector, the dis distributor uh, connector over here 
it's gonna make the signal, you know, and then when this uh, connector switch off, open, this is gonna load the HD coil and it's, we're, gonna go, go, we're gonna have the spark. spark. Let's tighten this. Okay. The last wire is the ground which is going to the battery with this one. The plus and the minus. And this wire just I connect anywhere in the engine casing. Uh, decide to put on this this kind of bolt. Now we're gonna put the red, uh, rotor on the distributor. Okay, this thing facing downwards, which is mean it's gonna be fired on first cylinder. Now we're gonna put the distributor cap. It's numbers one and two. And number one is going. Obviously down. We also got some pin which is going straight in the, in the in the place. We click it by the special springs, and now it's, we got this attached. Now let's do, let's connect the wiring like the HD wires, which is mean high tension wires. Uh, first one, the, the the shorter one. We put over here to the coil. Okay. Uh, make sure it's this one. And disconnect in the middle. Okay. And the shorter wire for the spark plugs, which is this one over there, is going to see the number one. And the longer wire, which is this one. It's going to over on the on the top over here, and it's seen the number two. Okay, we can make sure they all connected. Slide this down. Okay. I don't know what the cover is for, but let's leave it like that. Okay, let's turn the engine to the other side to get to the spark plugs. These wires, one is going there, the longer one, and this one, this one is going there. But before we're gonna put it, we're gonna test if we got the spark. We're gonna take off the spark plugs, connect it, and spin the engine, and we see if we got a spark, if we got a good spark, if there's something wrong with the spark. With the spark plugs, we're gonna I'm gonna take take them. We're gonna replace them with new one, okay? How old this thing is. Okay, because I haven't got good starter motor, I got only old one and it's not working, not good working on order. I make something like that, put some uh, distance. I, I use this just the head from the starter motor. I'm gonna uh, attach over here, tidy it up on both sides. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the, the rotor from the starter motor, just put over here, and I'm gonna spin by this, uh, by the drill, electric drill. And I think it's gonna be more speed, more revolution on, on the crankshaft, because this engine is old, got no compression, we need more revolution to try to fire up this engine. Let's connect 
connection the battery is the, the wire this is going to the plus I'm gonna attach this for good and the minus negative I'm gonna just leave it like this because if it's this engine will start it up I'm gonna just disconnect it and switch it off everything you can hear the click this uh, jet solenoid in the, in the um, carburetor which is mean speed okay now we're gonna test the spark plugs and if we got the sparks on those old spark plugs if it's that system gonna work attach the spark plugs to the cables attach the jump leads to this and the other side put to the ground of the engine like that and now I, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna connect the battery and spin the engine by this thing and we see if it's gonna, if we're gonna have spark I'm gonna attach the drill spin this engine to check off the spark uh, put uh, the battery on okay Battery is on. And now I'm gonna switch off the light. We'll see if we got some if we got some spark. Have a look. One. We got this one. It got got good spark. But this one is got like spark going everywhere. Spark going everywhere. We have to uh, change this spark plug for new, new ones. There's the new spark plugs. I'll touch them there. You see how good the uh, spark we're gonna have now. So good uh, blue spark, which is which is perfect. Okay, now we're gonna put new spark plugs on because we're now sure they they got a spark. But still, I don't know if, if this engine is gonna start up with no compression. We will see. That will be. We will be, I will be very lucky if this is going to work, but we will see. We are going to put the spark plugs on. Ok, now we are going to put the wires. And uh, we need something like special adapters to put the wires on because they are big inside. Just put it on. The shorter is the first one, and the longer is the second one. Okay. Okay. Before we do anything, we're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of rubber forty in the choke because it's hard to move, and the the throttle butterfly as well. Now we can move this little bit. The wire for the uh, how this called the solenoid. Little bit of gonna squeeze it a bit. And it's not gonna pop off. Okay. It's solid now, okay. And what we're gonna do put some we're gonna attach some petrol over there. This choke, I think I'm gonna strap it like that with the cable ties. 
na wagonę attach the, uh, the line for the petrol, the pipe attach the, I've got the bottle with the petrol over here and with the tap. Attach the, attach the, okay. Before I'm gonna try to start it up, I'm gonna stripe this engine by some uh, by some rope strap in case it's gonna you know fall off on the ground or something and it's gonna be a disaster. Dangerous, you know. We'll see. Okay guys, we got everything connected, we got petrol, we go spark, sparks, just gonna connect the battery and drill, let's do it. Connect the battery.
It's not, it's not much compression. Plus I don't want to start that bastard, you know. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some oil into the into the spark plugs and wait a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on the uh, directly into in the pistons, and I'm gonna soak the the piston rings, and I'm gonna wait a little bit then I think the compression gonna increase after all.
see the, the, the engine uh, starting up. Um, I was surprised because this is was rubbish, you know, lying in the woods, in the dump. Then a little bit of petrol, not that much. You see, it was fired up and was working. And uh, it splashed me with the oil because it's missing the the petrol pump. It splashed all the motorbike over there. Anyway, something gonna happen this motorbike today. <laughs>